Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. Here you have information about online seminars and study manuals for exams P, FM, IFM, and LTAM that I offer. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P on probability. An insurance company issues a good driver and a bad driver on uh, insures uh, a good driver and a bad driver on the same policy. The table below gives the probability of a given number of claims occurring for each of these drivers in the next 10 years. Uh, number of claims 0, probability for the good driver is 0.5, or probability for the bad driver is 0.2. Number of claims of 1, probability for the good driver is 0.3, probability for the bad driver is 0.3. Um, uh, number of claims of 2, probability for the good driver is 0.2, probability for the bad driver is 0.4. Number of claims of 3, probability for the good driver is 0, uh, probability for the bad driver is 0.1. The number of claims occurring for the two drivers are independent. We calculate the mode of the distribution of the total number of claims occurring on this policy in the next 10 years. So if you look at these probabilities here, you can see that they add up to 1 in each column. So these are all, all the possible numbers of accidents for, or claims for whatever claims, not necessarily accidents, but whatever claims happen for each of the drivers. But if you add the number of claims of the two uh, guys, so girls, two drivers, um, then uh, the total number will be, well, the first one plus the second one, which could be 0 plus 0, or 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0, uh, 0 plus 2, uh, 1 plus 1, um, 2 plus 0, and so on. And the smallest number, of course, is 0, but the largest number would be 3 plus 3, so 6. So these values uh, of the total of the number of claims for both of them go from 0 to 6. So let's write x for the total number of claims. And we have this. The probability that x is 0, that's the probability that the first driver, the good driver, has 0 claims, and the second one, um, bad driver, has 0 claims. They're independent, so we can multiply the probabilities. And that's uh, point 0.1. Probability that x is 1 means uh, 0 from the first guy or girl, or first driver, 1 from the second, or 1 from the first, uh, 0 from the second. And again, we can multiply the probabilities, and then we have to add them up because it, these are two ex um, mutually exclusive uh, outcomes. So 0 plus 1 or 1 plus 0 are two different mutually exclusive outcomes. And that's point 0.21. Probability of x is 2 is 0 plus 2, uh, 1 plus 1, or uh, 2 plus 0. And again, we just multiply out the probabilities for each pair, and we add them up. It's 0.33. Probability of x is 3 is, um, well, that's uh, 0 plus 3, 1 plus 2, 2 plus 1, and uh, th th 3 plus 0. And again, we multiply out the probabilities and we add them up for four mutually exclusive possibilities. And this is point 23. And the crucial observation is this, that if you go um, through these values that you see here, um, we're looking for the mode, so we're looking for the largest probability of these probabilities. Well, the largest one right now is point 33. So it's possibly the mode, x equal to 2, can there be a, a larger probability down the road? Because we know that values of x can go from 0 to 6. And the answer is that there can't be, because that 
at this point, the cumulative distribution function at 3 is the sum of these probabilities that you see here. So 0.1 plus 0.21 plus 0.33 plus 0.23, so it's 0.87, so that the survival function at 3, the probability at x is more than 3, is 0.13. So all these values of 4, 5, and 6 combined um, have probability of 0.13, so none of them can be as large as 0.33. So we're done, basically. We know that uh, the, um, the value of x that has the highest uh, value of probability function is x equal to 2. And that's answer C. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.